you went off for a medical timeout at the end of the first set. Can you just tell us? No, no, I didn't go for a medical timeout. No? So that was just a, a bathroom break or? Bathroom break. I put some bandage for the, for the humidity. That's to, to stop the, the humidity on my hands, that's all. How did you find the conditions out there? It was very humid. Yeah, it was humid, but uh, something like um, nothing very new. No, I have been very humid this year since the, since the first day that we arrived here, so that's it. Your Honor. Eleanor Crooks Press Association, Rafa, what, what do you think made the difference out there today? Well, the difference is uh, easy. I played a bad match and he played a good match. So uh, at the end, that's it. No, I I was not able to to hold um, a high level of tennis for for a long time. I was not enough uh, quick on my movements, and he he was able to 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 take the ball. Uh, too many times uh, very early, uh, so I was not able to push him back. Yeah, uh, tennis is uh, is in a sport of uh, position a lot of times, no. And uh, if not, you need to be very very quick and very young. And uh, <laughs> and I I am not in that uh, momentum anymore. So um, my shots needs to be better. And uh, in some way, my my. My understanding of the game and the quality of uh, my shots was uh, were not uh, enough good. Were uh, poor, uh, I think I said. I have to say today because I was not able to create damage on on him. So yeah, well done for him. He was better than me. Great, Matt. Hi, Rafa. Matt Futterman from the New York Times. I know you're not the type to make any kind of excuses. Do you think th your injuries throughout the summer and even the spring contributed to your preparation and you, your ability to move in the way you would have liked to have moved today? Well, it's not about... Um, we can uh, make lamentations or <laughs> we, can co we can complain now about uh, a lot of things, but... I don't. I don't think that's going to change any situation. No, we can think if I don't get injured or if uh, maybe I won Wimbledon, maybe uh, <laughs> maybe I won another things on the past, or maybe I lost uh, another things uh, because uh, I was not able to to create this uh, interior power after uh, after all that injuries. No, so uh, I mean that's that's part of my career. So uh, a lot of times uh, went the proper way. Uh, Sometimes completely unexpected, like Australia, like Roland Garros. Uh, of course, this <laughs> was not the ideal uh, preparation for me. But in that case, uh, another times went the the right well, the the right way, even with uh, not the the perfect preparation. No, so yeah, we we can't find uh, excuses. Uh, we need to be enough. Um, critic with with myself. Uh, that's the only way to. To improve, or that's all the way that I understand that uh, you you are able to to find solutions. And I I, I have uh, been practicing well the week before, honestly. Uh, but then when the competition start, uh, I, I my level went down. You know? That's that's the truth. For for some reason, I don't know uh, mental issues uh, in terms of <laughs> a lot of things happened the last couple of months. Maybe, uh, but. Uh, doesn't matter. At the end, uh, the, the only thing that happened is uh, we went to the fourth round of the US Open and I faced a player that uh, was better than me. Uh, and that's why I, <laughs> I am having a plane back home. <laughs> Willie. Willie Weinbaum with ESPN. Ralph, you said that today Francis was better than you were. What are your thoughts on his development as a player and what you saw out there specifically from him today? Well, I need to. Well, a lot of all the credit to him, without a doubt. Uh, that's that's the true. Uh, he did a lot of things well. But um, at the end, when when you finish a match, uh, of course, it's important to to recognize all the good things that the the opponent uh, is doing uh, and or the opponent did. Yes, without a doubt. But at the end of the day, uh, I need to analyze myself more than the 
than the opponent. No, it's, I finished the match 15 minutes ago. Uh, difficult for me yet to analyze. Of course, uh, Tiafo is uh, playing more solid than before, uh, serving well, I think, today, uh, taking the ball very early, as I said before. Good backhands. Uh, he's quick, as everybody knows. But I don't think I pushed him enough to to cre to create uh, him the doubts that I need to create. So the it's tennis is always a balance, you know. When somebody is not playing that well, it's easier that the opponent plays better. Uh, so if my ball is not uh, a, a high quality ball, then uh, he's able to to do uh, his game much easier. So uh, that's the thing. Of course, he did the things well. If not, probably he will not win, without a doubt. Yeah, congrats to him. And uh, as I said before, I, uh, no excuses at all. He, I'm completely happy to recognize that uh, he was much better than me today. But at the end, I need to to analyze uh, that I, I was not able to to create the damage that I normally yeah, I used to do. Sorry, Rob. Two more in English. Howard Bryant, ESPN. Um, did they tell you when they? When they closed the roof, and, and did that affect? It seemed like you guys both traded breaks when they, when they were closing the roof as the match was going on. Does that have any effect on you guys at all? No, not not to me. I don't know to him. I cannot talk for both of us. Just can't talk for myself. No, no not an excuse at all. No, I had the break, and then I, I make two double falls. Was, yeah, a, a very bad game for me. No, that's it. Good. Peter, last question. Peter Bodo, tennis.com. Uh, Rafa, do you? <laughs> We know you you respect all players and didn't, didn't have your greatest game today. But were you were you surprised at all by how well he was able to maintain his level throughout the entire match? No lapses, no come downs. He gives myself a chance. You know, is is of course yes. He played well, as I said. Uh, he did a lot of things uh, very well. But if you want to be in the quarterfinals of the U.S. Open, I need to do the things better. No, no, it's 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 clear. Uh, I mean, I had my chances. Uh, I had that uh, 15. Uh, I had that uh, that break. Then I I had again a 15-40. Uh, then I had a love thirty in the in the first set and the second serve, and I missed the return. You know, have been uh, a lot of moments that if you are able to to be ready to catch that that point, situation uh, can change, uh, can make a big difference. You know, and that's uh, all about uh, confidence. It's all about. Uh, it's all about play better because at the end, uh, this sport it's about. Uh, you know, give the opportunities, take the opportunities, and uh, try to save when the opponent uh, is doing well. No, and I was not able to to do <laughs> anything, <laughs> any of these things uh, this afternoon. So he was able to do it. Uh, he played with the right determination. Yeah, congrats to him. Wish him all the very best. I need to go back. I need to fix uh, things, life, and then uh, I don't know when I gonna when I gonna come back. I I gonna. Try to be uh, ready mentally. Uh, when I feel that I I will be ready to compete again, I will I will be there.